Hello my wolf pack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green Randomized Nuzlocke Challenge. So, I don't know if you can hear the music, let's just move to a different route. Is that playing the music? Yeah, okay, it's playing the music. Right, okay, so, yeah, it has been a while. Um, yeah, essentially I'm going to get into the details on why whilst we're, we're battling and whatnot. But, uh, we have got some changes, or not necessarily changes to our team. But we have now, I've met, what well, we have, I have now leveled up everyone up to level 34. Gordy, in the process, evolved into a dugong, uh, which is really cool. I really love dugong, so that's cool. We now have Headbutt, Growl, Icy Wind, and Aurora Beast, same moveset as before. Uh, Star is now level 34 with the exact same moveset. Uh, Paul, again, level 34. Uh, Learn High Jump Kick, so that's going to be helpful. Uh, we have got Jules the Latias at level 20, 34 as well. I decided to put Roselia in. Ivy the Roselia um, potentially can be a very good Pokemon in our team. Uh, and then we've got Joey at level 34 as well. So all of our Pokemon team is currently level 34. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put Jules in first. I think we're going to put Jules in first. And we are going to travel over. Oh, no, that's... That's wrong. That, I didn't need to do that. Um, I need to get back and re-register because I was using the VS Seeker earlier. Um, well, not earlier. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Register. Okay. There we go. Right. So, yes. Essentially, uh, I have done a load of grinding. I basically, I went all the way down to, well, not all the way down to, I went most of the way down to Fuchsia City. Um... And I got the Super Rod, so yeah, we could have gone down that way, but I thought, as I've just grinded down there, we'll go down the cycle path, we'll have a few battles down there, um, and then we will continue on into Future City and see what shenanigans we can do. Because I think, hold on, have I got any items? Have I got any balls? I have, I've got plenty of balls. Um, I've got a couple of Super Potions. Okay, fantastic. So yeah, we're going to continue on. We have got a few encounters that we can come back to. Uh, we've got our first encounter here. Now, we did encounter the other Snorlax. Uh, it was a low noon. I didn't bother catching it because I thought it's not on screen, so why, why bother? But, yeah. We are going to use the Poker Flute on this Snorlax, and we're going to see what it's going to be. We are going to see... What is it going to turn into? What is it going to... Well, not turn into... I don't even know what that, that was. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like. I do like Cloyster. Cloyster is a fun Pokemon. We are definitely going to try and catch this. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I should probably explain, kind of, I disappeared again. Ooh! That was kind of perfect, Jules. Jules is loving it. Jules is the best. Um, yeah, I should probably try and explain, kind of, what's happened. So, essentially, um, some of you will have watched my video on... Uh, Makala Troubles, my update video, get in the ball. Uh, and essentially, yeah, there's been more more story. There is more story to that. So if you don't know, basically Makala went for his MOT on uh, Thursday. Now, it failed its MOT on a few different things. It failed on emissions and it failed on wheel bearings. Uh, what do we call this? What are we going to call this? Um, I don't know what to call you. I'm going to call you Max, with two X's. Oh, no, not three X's. That, that's that's unacceptable. Three X's is not allowed. But we now got a weak Pokemon in case one of our Pokemon faints, so that is good. Did I say a weak Pokemon? A strong Pokemon, that's what I meant. Um, but we're going to battle some of these guys. Uh, so yeah, since you took it for MOT, failed emissions, failed on the wheel bearings, which I don't know that I personally agree with, because like they were like, how did you not know that they were so bad? I'm just like, I, I, I didn't feel it. So yeah, um, it's a bit weird that they seem to have thought it was really bad when I couldn't even feel it. So that's beside the point. Um, yeah, so Friday I take my, well no, yeah, Friday I take my car to, with my, to my step, step my mum's on my step dad's. And uh, we kind of discuss and we discuss like what parts I probably will end up needing. Um, and basically we got the two wheel bearings and then we got an oxygen sensor, which was a pain in the ass to uh, basically sort out uh, because it was in a awkward position. I let my stepdad do that because I don't know how to do mechanics. So, 
Uh, we replaced that. And when I was in the shop picking up the part, uh, the guy recommended that we test a couple of other things uh, to check that it's not that. So it, essentially it was that my oxygen was low and that was causing the fuel to not burn completely, uh, meaning the carbon dioxide was reduced, which is a no-no when it comes to emissions. Um, and essentially, so we thought it might be the oxygen sensor, um, but then turns out it was something called the MAP sensor, which is to do with the air pressure, essentially, um, and we tested that and found out that that wasn't working properly, so uh, we called up and we ordered that part, and then uh, when my stepdad was sorting out the uh, the uh, wheel bearings, one of my uh, brakes just would not let go, would not let go of the brake drum, so uh, essentially uh, he had to just rip the brake, the brake shoe, which uh, basically means that I cannot use that brake shoe uh, again, and essentially left my car there um, to get sorted, I had to ring up like literally at the end of their day, uh, they didn't have one in, so they had to order it in, and it was it came in on Saturday. Now, the guy that I spoke to just did not seem to know what he was doing, and it kind of reflects. <laughs> it kind of reflects. Um, well, no, I'm not sure if it does. Um, basically, went in Saturday, got a call, went in Saturday. Um, at this point, I'd been dropped off back at my home, uh, which is about a half hour drive away, and my mum and well, my mum and come, and then they went back and then they come and pick me up on the Saturday to take me to go and pick up these parts to go sort the car parts out so I could then take my car home. But, but, um, essentially, uh, I don't like poison powder. Uh, the Both parts we ordered were wrong. Both parts we ordered um, were wrong. The first part was on our fault. Um, essentially, uh, the sensor that we'd ordered um, was annoyingly, it just, it had something in the wrong plate, although it, it basically it was a different kind of model um, and it wouldn't have fit my car, so essentially, so we had to order the other one, uh, that one wasn't our fault and that one just, yeah, that, that wasn't a big big deal sort of thing, I was like, okay, I can replace that one, that's easy because it's a simple thing to replace. And then <laughs> we got we got the brake shoes and like I looked at them and I was like, yeah, they look, look about the right size, and we got back and it turns out they're actually significantly too big, <laughs> um, so we had to take them back, um, essentially we, did, we didn't call them at this point, we just took them back because we thought that's just like, we, we need to give, like, give them whatever so if they, they need to measure anything they can order the right ones. Essentially the way that he said it, it, like, it sounded like when they, these ones were originally manufactured, um, so essentially the part that I needed was originally manufactured by the part that we got, um, so the, the right part was in that box but apparently they changed the dimensions of that part later on, like uh, I hadn't updated it on the on that system, so essentially uh, the, the wrong part was given to me, um, despite the fact that the system said yes, it's the right part. And yeah, so um, this is Sunday afternoon. Have to order it in. It comes in today. Um, I literally just called them like twenty minutes ago to check if it was in, and it was. And yeah, so my car still is not fixed. Um, my stepdad has decided to go and uh, get get the pieces. Uh, essentially, because they made the trip here to pick me up, and then they had to make another trip to drop me off for the weekend. Um, and I decided to be nice. I thought, like, they're, they're, this way they've made two pointless trips to mine, essentially. Uh, so we went to the pub for, like, four hours, which was quite nice. Um, yeah. So that was nice and relaxed. <laughs> um, but... Oh god, it has been a stressful time, like just trying to get the right parts and undoubtedly I'm gonna get a call from my stepdad saying that there's, there's the wrong part again. Um, and yeah, just, it's been it's been quite a few days, a stressful few days, so me getting like recording has been a little bit more difficult uh, than kind of what I would like it to be. What are we trying to learn? Uh, nah, we're not learning. Oh, oh, missed ball, I thought it was just missed. But regardless, I don't think I would learn it. Um, so yeah, but at the minute, things are just a bit wild with me, and hopefully I get my car back tomorrow. I've decided, uh, well I said to my, uh, my mum, basically when she was driving me home on Friday, um, I said, do they want Chinese? <laughs> do they want me to buy Chinese because my car's being paid? Um, 
yeah, and I think my stepdad is a little bit annoyed with me because I, I basically, I, he thinks that because he broke the brake shoes, he should have to pay for it. Um, now comment down below what you think on this. And I said, because it, it would have happened regardless, it would have happened regardless, like uh, there was no way of releasing it without breaking it essentially. Um, so I said, I'll pay for it because it would have happened regardless. If it was like a professional shop and it had happened, I wouldn't pay for it because they would have had the equipment to manage uh, to make that possible. But he doesn't, he doesn't have all the equipment because he's not an actual mechanic. He's, uh, he's a bus driver, <laughs> but he um, he knows a lot of mechanic stuff. So yeah, he's uh, like so I I paid for that, and he he was well he was insistent on paying. And then then when we went to pick up the part, my mum was also fairly insistent um, that she was going to pay for it. I paid for it. I was like, no, you're I'm paying for it. It's not your fault that it happened. And yeah, and my car just loves loves racking up a little bit of money this year. The because it knows. It knows it's the last year. It knows that it's the last year that I'm going to actually um, use it. We're going to send in scar because yeah, next year it's not it's not going through because it's got an oil leak. And if that gets much worse, like if it gets worse, there's not much point in keeping my car. I did not mean to do that. I meant to bite him. So yeah, that has kind of been the entertaining part of my week and that's why I haven't uploaded any of this because it's just been so stressful um, trying to get things sorted and even now I still don't know if the car's gonna pass um, and I know I've been talking about this for 10 minutes <laughs> but yeah still I still don't know until like hopefully Wednesday uh, I'm gonna be able to take it back down to do a retest uh, and we'll hopefully the emissions will be fixed uh, hopefully out um, I don't know who I Oh, we can get we can get an encounter. We can get another encounter. We get loads of encounters today. Um, this might be a longish episode because I obviously haven't done many episodes lately, and I think we we are going to get quite close to the end very soon. I think. I think we are definitely getting there. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness, my life is literally like it's cut. Well, actually, no, it's not too bad right now. I'm actually enjoying myself. Um, we've got. I'm really loving the channel at the minute. We hit 700 subs, which is absolutely phenomenal. Now, I don't know if we hit it last time I recorded the video. I think we might have done, but then YouTube decided to take away free subs randomly, which this is the third time in a row that it's just randomly decided to take away exactly free subs from me. So I don't know what it's doing. Like <laughs> It just keeps on happening, but oh well. Uh, it seems that YouTube just has it out for me, honestly. It seems that YouTube is just having it, having an issue with me. Because, you know, I'm so fantastic. <laughs> I'm not. I would have grown much quicker if I was fantastic. Like, I am just awkward and weird. But yeah, we're having fun. <laughs> we're having fun. Hopefully, we will battle Koga in the next couple... Well, next episode, I think. Next episode, we'll battle Koga. Um, and then we need to do, like, Slif... Silf... Slif? Silf. Slif. Sif. Silf. Slif. I don't know. <laughs> I can close my eyes. Let's see what it is. Oh, I recognise it. Oh, okay. 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 I mean, not the best thing, but also not the worst thing. I think we'll go into... I probably haven't got anything that's not going to kill it, though. We're going to try Dragon Breath, because Dragon Breath is actually quite weak. But I could take it out. Okay. Well, that was a problem. I mean, to be fair, it's not much of a problem. Uh, I'm not going to battle too many of these just because we've been battling for the, half the episode already. And I've not really been paying attention to the battles, if I'm honest. Um, at the minute, I know I am overleveled. Well, he's level 33 is about. I say that, I'm literally only just overleveled on what the trainers are having. And I know that Koga is just like obviously hugely over leveled, so or a huge level jump. So I thought, you know, it would be good just to get going. I mean, let's go into the Safari Zone. I think we're going to do Safari Zone today. We're going to find the gold teeth. I'm, I'm literally not even pressing buttons right now. I'm not even pressing buttons. Ha ha! He got a Mohawk. Stat well, he's got loads of Pokemon. They're all level 25, though. That's fine. That is fine. We are going to... Oh! I did not even... I, I can't... I didn't know Santa got Intimidate. I have not 
use a Stantler competitively. I don't think ever. Like, it's not the most competitive Pokemon in the world. <laughs> but, oh dear, it, I don't even know what I've... Well, today, actually, I'm making uh, beef taglatelli kind of thing. It's a similar recipe, and I'm really excited for it. Hopefully, it's going to come out very nice tonight. I'm hoping. I don't know if it will, but we'll see. Um, this is a Viper. So, I think we're going to go into Scar. I think we're just going to go into Scar. Scar's taking some damage, but Scar's going to be able to take this thing out. Yeah, I haven't had too busy a couple of days. I know tomorrow I'm obviously back at my mum's because I should be hopefully picking up my car. Um, and then we can have a Chinese, and that's going to probably be an expensive Chinese because it's for six people. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. I'm happy to pay for it. Uh, we're going to stay in. We're going to stay in. But yeah, I, like, it's the summer holidays, obviously, for, I think, basically everyone at the minute. And it has been, like, two weeks already, two and a half weeks already, and I don't know where that time has gone, like, what has happened. It has just flown by, and it's kind of scary. I had, like, an existential crisis, uh, I think it was yesterday morning. Like, I was watching something, and it had, like, a 30-second interval in it or something, and I was just there, like... I've just wasted 30 seconds of my life. And I was just kind of like having this crisis where I was like, I'm wasting my life. My life is just wasting away. Like I'm laying in bed too long. Like uh, I should be doing things. I should be enjoying life. I should be celebrating life. And I was just like, I don't know. It just really hit me like as a kind of a ridiculous um, sort of idea, I suppose. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Uh, that's kind of what's been happening to me. I haven't been sleeping very well. It's been really hot lately. I've got my fan blowing on me currently because I am super hot. Um, and it's actually quite nice and cool just blowing air onto me. And it feels a little bit better. Like, it feels a little bit. Ooh, uh, just a little bit. Ooh, uh, a little bit more. If that wasn't awful, but that's... <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of losing it, if you can't tell. Kind of losing my mind, just just a smidge. Right, I think we're going to do Safari Zone now. I think we're going to do Safari Zone. We should get the HM for Surf, which is going to be good. I really do need the HM for Surf. Uh, because we can, one, we can teach that to Gordy, because Gordy needs a water type attack, because we don't actually have a water type, or we don't have a good water type attack. We have Hydro Cannon, but Hydro Cannon's a bit of a, a, bit of a nuisance. Yep, we got 30 Safari Bars. Okay, so... I wish they'd bring back the Safari Zone, actually. I'd love this, I love the little, like... I don't know, it's just like a nice little thing, isn't it? Like, actually, no, I don't really care. I don't really care enough um, for a Safari Zone to come back. This is our encounter! That sounds like a Rasta. Oh, okay, it's a Rascate. Oh dear, we're just going to throw balls at it. Throw balls at its face. One, two, three. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, we caught the Raticate. Now, what are we going to call you? I think you're a female. So... Going to call you... Tina. Tina the Raticate. There we go. There we go. I really want to do some shiny hunting at the minute as well. I feel like... I feel shiny honey, but I'm also feeling like competitive battling. We're going to pick up this. Um, what is this trying to battle me? It's another Raticate. Surprise, surprise. We got a common encounter. So let's go over here. TM27 is Pursuit. And we've got a big pearl. We're getting a lot of money. A lot, a lot, a lot of money. Ah! Ah! Also, you'll probably have noticed that this is uploaded on a Monday. I've recently decided to change the schedule. Not that anyone's going to be here right now, um, because we're 20 minutes into the video. Um, yeah, essentially, uh, I've decided we're going to do Monday through Friday for the uploads right now. Um, just because, one, it's easy for me to do at the minute. And two... Um, yeah, one, it's easy for me to do at the minute. And two... I feel like I've like let you not necessarily let you down, but I feel like I've just taken so much time off from this um, 
this playthrough, essentially. I feel I feel like I do need Oh morning sun Oh that's actually not too bad. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna get some. Uh citrus berry, not really needed, but okay. But yeah, I feel like we kinda of just need a few more episodes a week at the minute. And I think Monday to Friday is a good schedule. I want the gold teeth! There we go, gold teeth in the key items pocket. What's this? Razor leaf? Oh! Oh! Ooh wee! And we're gonna talk to the person in the secret house. Uh, made a campaign for our grand ceremony. I was getting worried that no one would win the campaign prize. I have won HMO3 Surf. Very nice. I will appreciate that. Well, no, I don't appreciate that. I will need that to complete the game. And now, how many more steps have we got? Um, well, we've got loads of steps. We're just gonna retire, because we literally can't do anything else in here. Unless I want to go and get some more items. But honestly, I don't think that's really worth. But whilst I'm talking about items, we are going to go into the Pokemart. The Mart of Pokemon. And we're going to go buy uh, probably like 10, ten Ultra Balls. Oh, really? Have we not got like Hyper Potions yet? I'm going to get like 10 more of these. Ah! Um, do I, want, I want some full heals as well, I think, just in case. I'll get five full heals. You know, they're just good in case you get caught up, up a creek without a uh, antidote, essentially. But yeah, can you get through this way? You can. Ooh. Oh, and cut. I think I... No, I don't have cut, because we don't have why not. Is why not alive still? I don't even know if why not's alive. <laughs> I think... Did why not die? I can't remember. I think we've had two deaths so far. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but we can get several more encounters currently. Uh, I think we are going to get a couple more encounters in this episode. Uh, I think that will be a good idea. Uh, allows for us to, you know, build, potentially, well not even build our team out, because I like our team at the minute as it is, but if we get anything absolutely crazy, you know, we're going we're gonna to make sure that we catch it. Um, I'll give you your cold teeth. Give the gold teeth to the warden, because you can't talk. I'm, I'm, where's my head? Where am I head? I'm from. You're a real life saver. No one could understand a word that I said. Not a one. I was too ashamed to throw my face around the office even. Let me give you something for your trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you actually need HMO4 to complete the game. Oh no, you do. You do. Scratch that. I think it's... I can't think which one it is. It's... Is it Gen 3? You don't need it? I think it's Gen 3. Uh, we are going to teach... Wow, every... Why can everyone learn Surf? That should not happen. Um, okay. Ivy most definitely cannot learn Surf normally, so I think that's just a glitch with the randomizer. Uh, we'll get rid of Crowl, and we've now got Surf, so we've now got a good Water-type move on Gordy, allowing for that Stab to take effect. And we're going to need to teach Strength to someone, and everyone again can learn Strength. Um... I think we're going to go with Paul. We're going to get rid of Mega Punch. We'll get rid of Mega Punch or Hidden Power. I don't know what Hidden Power is, so we'll get rid of Mega Punch. Because Strength, actually, like, I know a lot of people like are like, oh, it's just a HM slave move. But actually, Strength wasn't too bad a move. It wasn't too... I mean, obviously, you have Return. Return's so much better. But Strength, I found, wasn't actually too terrible of a move. Um... So, yeah, we found a Petra Berry. That's only a rare candy, so that's a little bit upsetting. <laughs> that is a poison-producing berry. Or not poison-producing berry, it's just a poison-curing berry. I'm the fishing guru. Yes, I do like to fish. <laughs> Thank you for the good rod, but I already got a super rod from your brother. That does not sound appropriate. <laughs> All right, we're going to get a Fuchsia City encounter. So, in our bag, we are going to go... We have a super rod. We're gonna oh 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 not even a nibble. I wonder what bait we're using. We're using Magikarp attracting toes. Pokemon's on the hook, and let me close my eyes and see if I can hear what it is. Is that Growlithe? Oh, it's a choke. Okay. I mean, I mean. Going to Ivy. I mean, not the worst thing in the world. 
That was a crit. How dare you? I'm gonna poison you. Poison sting. Yes, the first turn poison. Very nice. Uh, it's gonna focus energy, so now it's gonna get more crits. Um, but yeah, Machoke. I mean, it's not terrible. I can't evolve it. Is the issue? I can't evolve it. Um, we we'll go for an Arch Ball, and hopefully it'll catch it. So, yeah. There, oh, there, there we go. We've got a Machoke. We've got a Machoke. What are we going to call Machoke? Uh, let's see who's been recently in my comments. Um, there's been uh, a few people. Let's see who has been in the comments lately. Let's check out our comments. Um, yeah, Max has been in here a lot. Um... We had Sly Star 64, so I'm going to call you Sly. This Machoke is going to be called Sly. Now they didn't comment on the this video or any of the any of the Thingamajiggy videos. They commented on one of my Mr. Guide videos, so that was greatly appreciated. So we now have a Machoke called Sly that is going to sit there in the box for a little while. Um, we're going to get on our bike and we're going to cycle out of town. We're going to be to Route 15. Route 15, and we're going to get something in the grass over here. Going to close my eyes again. Oh, hold on. I recognise that. Okay, Nat. Hold on, we have an Exatu. We have an Exatu, so I can, I can re-encounter. I swear we have an Exatu. If we don't, then I'm an idiot. I swear we have an Exatu, though. That is... A loud red or expert. Oh, it's an next loud. Ah, oh, yes. Making up for the one. Didn't we lose one? Didn't we not? Like, we didn't catch one before. Like, we can Dragon Breath this and not worry about knocking out, I think. Oh, we don't get the paralysis, though. We don't get the paralysis, though. He's going to raise up his attack. Oh, scary. So, so scary. <laughs> going to throw an Ultra Ball right at his face. Right in his face. And he's just going to get an apple. That is fine. We are getting all the encounters today. All of the encounters. We've actually got a couple of decent mission encounters. I wouldn't mind putting X Cloud in the team. Um, I feel like we're going to lose some Pokemon to Koga though. So, yeah. Um... Oh, I like that. Someone called Malachi. Oh, no, that's not. <laughs> So on Malachi, uh, was it CHI? Just double check. Um, yeah, it was CHI Malachi. I will definitely that that that's an awesome name for a. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> yeah, that is Malachi the X Cloud. I do need to check whether that's legal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's legal. I'm sure we have an exactly somewhere. I'm sure we have an exactly in the box. Um, we've got one more encounter to get today. I mean, possibly we could have got two, but I think we're just going to get one more for now. Um, but yeah, let's go in here quick. And let's just double check. Uh, Bill's PC. Move Pokemon. Um, yeah, we have an exactly, so that's fine. So all of these are encounters for today. All we're holding. A soda pop. Are any of you holding anything else? No. Okay, so we've actually got like some nice choices at the minute. Got some very nice choices. And I deliberately chose level 34 because it's not too strong and it's not too weak. Um, so I, I theoretically shouldn't have to go up grind. Um, can I... Oh, can I use my... Super Rod here? I can. We're going to get a Rocky Pokemon. We're going to get a Rock type. It's going to be a Reggie Rock. You watch. Okay. Okay, I mean... Yeah, I'll take it. I will 100% take it. Gyarados is not a bad Pokemon at all. Uh, level 24, so it is low level. Um, but we have got the paralysis there, so we have got a Gyarados as an option. Uh, but yeah, I think Gyarados doesn't get the best... Like, I think in this gen, Gyarados does not get the best uh, movesets. I can't remember. I don't think I've ever used Gyarados in Gen 3, so... Yeah, I've used it in Gen 4. Because um, I remember I caught a Magikarp. Um, just off from Jubilife City, and I decided to use that 
uh, and raise that up to become a Gyarados. Now, what are we going to name this? What are we going to name you? What are we going to name you? We have... Uh, we have Umbral. We're going to go with Umbral. So, um... Brill. There we go. I like that name. That's a nice name. Now, I'm currently not paying attention to the genders of both the people commenting and the uh, Pokemon. So, yeah, <laughs> that's happening. But I think what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly heal up. And I'm going to finish off the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I know we've got a lot of new Pokemon today, and I've spoken about my car a lot. But yes, that is all for today. So thank you for coming out, and I will see you soon.